Hey, welcome back. So, I just went through this in my previous video and I want to just go all the way down to the bottom and click on this link which goes to my second article which is uh, part 2 where I specifically talk about LinkedIn mentorship. I think a lot of people are interested in this topic and a lot of questions about this and I mean this is a mentorship uh, course that you're watching. Um, so yeah, let's, let's uh, jump right in. So LinkedIn mentorship is something that's not new. I have mentioned it before and I said, you know, please check out part one first. Link is in the description. So if you have been around LinkedIn as long as I have, uh, way back in 2017, feels like a long time ago, it's almost like three years ago now, um, they released um, this thing called Career Advice. But this is actually their, their, their platform for mentoring. And... Um, I had it for a very long time, but I never actually use it that much because I'm just busy studying companies and doing all kinds of projects, as you can see on my LinkedIn, 100 page long. <laughs> uh, trying to slow down a bit now, um, posting less updates on what I'm doing, but I'm still doing a lot of things. And I'm just like a duck on, t on like, you know, calm and relax on top, but then the feet is just going crazy at the bottom under the water. So this is <laughs> kind of the story of my life, right? So um, this is what it looks like. So I think if you click on this, it actually does not pop up. Oh well, that's LinkedIn for you. Maybe I'll make it bigger next time. So basically, if you click on it, it shows you... If you go to, you know, career advice, it shows you this. And I actually want to uh, maybe show it to you right now because you're, you know, watching this course. So let me just um, really quickly just go back to my previous one and just click on my page and um, so at the bottom here right you, you see this is private to me but I'm just showing you right now and this is the all-star thing I'm telling you guys to, to if you want to you know become an all-star let me know and I'll hook you up with my course so um, so so far 1276 people have viewed my profile uh, and about almost 5,000 search views uh, right so Career advice basically is um, what I'm talking about right now. The career advice participants, um, I can participate and I do participate in this career advice platform and giving back to those helping them you know, benefit from my experience. So when you click on this and when I do, I see this. Um, how do I show you this when I click on it? Um, I see this when I click on it. Yes, okay, so I'll just go back to my profile and I click on it now and it goes to this page and it says, okay, I have this uh, student from Bow Valley College Business Administration and Accounting, um, Bow Valley College, Canada, so I can start a conversation. She, the Kuda wants to get advice on accounting, right? So I'm not an accountant, I, I really... Um, I'm not really sure hmm, if I should. Uh, nope. Okay, so. And then this other person is uh, Mark, and he's in um, digital media marketing and sales. He wants to know how to improve getting interest uh, from employers in digital marketing or sales. So this is from Josh Brown College and, uh, and has a mutual connection um has last experience latest experience here education here so i can click on these i can start a conversation with them so i can say hi and then basically it fills this up with you and i just use a template usually and then i would uh, also start here and do that so this is basically it um so yeah that's basically it so moving back to this um, in, in my article, I have to anonymize everything because um, I don't want to necessarily reveal people's identity. It is, it is uh, the personal details and I removed it, uh, pixelated it for privacy reasons. So, um, yeah, like I said, it's for privacy issues reasons. So basically a career advice, like this time I had three different people I could message, right? This time I had two and... 
so every week you have a few different people and it actually gives you a time um hmm, not sure if you can see it here it says six days left right here under the uh, uh yeah so in six days the chat basically explodes it's kind of like snapchat um, but it's persistent so you can still see it afterwards so basically if you want to be a mentor and you're watching this course to be to learn to become a mentor or to be to 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 learn how to be one or to to explore mentoring people on LinkedIn just uh, go to your profile like I did you know go back to my profile let's close these and then you can just go down to your profile make sure that this is available and it's on not off and then just click on it like I did just now and it will send you to the uh, pro pro proper link right and then this is how people who may want your advice <laughs> don't just give free advice right? <laughs> give it to people who want your advice so this is the advice the career advice section of LinkedIn so this is examples I posted my examples and I just already show you this um, I participate in the career advice platform and basically if you don't see it you know just go to uh, your profile settings I'm not gonna show you that right now but it's basically you know go to your profile settings and then just um, you make sure that the icon is green so let's go back in time and show you what it looks like before this is uh, some pictures I got from um, 2017 actually so it's like this is an example on a phone it says Aaron your advice can make all the difference LinkedIn recognizes you as an expert in your field give back by, be, by being part of the career advice community so I got one of these back then uh, obviously it says Daniel not Aaron so I did I, I clicked link I sorry I clicked learn more on LinkedIn's app right and then it's, it basically says that giving advice is easy Tell us what you want to share and then we will match you based on your preference and experiences. Uh, review potential matches, see requests, see requests from motivated, sorry, sorry, uh, hang on. See requests from motivated people who want your advice and pick who you like to chat with. And then the third step basically is like get in touch. Giving advice does not need to be a huge time commitment. Short one-to-one -one chats can make all the difference. Basically, it's all about making differences, right? Make all the difference. Click the button now. Click the button now to get started. And I did. And then next, what I saw is basically um, enter your preference. Step one of two. I prefer to give advice to someone who is. And then in my first or second degree network uh, in my region from my school, yeah or I don't have a preference and then LinkedIn says we'll do our best to match you based on your preferences Can okay, click continue or click back if you want so this is an example with Ella Carlson the director of engineering Indiana University in greater Chicago area um, hmm. okay so in this case <laughs> Uh, you see she has 152 profile views. How many do I have? I, uh, let me double, double check. So I have about uh, 1.2 thousand. Okay. And then um, lots of article views. So she's an expert there. I don't have much article views. Like, so she wins. And then uh, search appearances. She has 19. I have about uh, 5,000. So um, anyway, main thing is um, she's an all-star. You should be an all-star. Everyone should be an all-star. Um, um, yep. So, and then, so give advice. Next page is basically giving advice, right? So she sees the requests from these few people, from Derek Edwards, a uh, web developer at First Nation Bank, uh, Indiana University, same university as Ella, and um, in the Chicago, greater Chicago area, the GCA. So in his words, I want to learn to grow my career as a web developer in the e-commerce space. I'm currently working towards a new role as dot dot dot, you know, ellipsis. So she can click accept or pass, right? There are four mutual connections because the same university, obviously. So, um, yeah, basically as, sim as simple as that. And then you've seen what I did with mine. When I click on it, I chat with people 
Um, so, very short article really, just lots of pictures. Um, so basically, there's also a time limit on this. See, there's seven days left here. So basically, seven days left, and uh, the chat basically ends. So once you're matched, basically, you can start communicating and freely message each other without limit. Uh, and you don't have to be first party connections. But in this case, they already are first party connections. Uh, sorry, first uh, degree connections. Um, so yeah, you can message each other freely, and um, if you're not first or second, or if you're not first or second, if you're not first degree connections, then you cannot message them afterwards. I think. Um, but basically, either party can terminate the communication at any point in time. So my question now is, do you have a mentor, right? You don't need one to become one, and hopefully you find one or become one um, along the way. So I want to end with a few quotes. I really like quotes, as some of you know. Um, so let's look at some quotes by Ralph uh, Waldo Emerson. Um, our chief once our chief one in life is somebody who will make us do what we can very true so mentors do push you to your limits and beyond your comfort zone I've actually posted that a while back on my Facebook I'm not sure if any of you have seen that um, but uh, it's true you know um, they push you to your limits and beyond it and basically, uh, we want you mentors. We want you to be uh, as 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 good as you can, right? To make you better than you can, or do you thought you could be? Uh. Mm, do, 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 do. Just give me a second. Let me just uh, find something. Because this is uh, very important as well. I think I um, I'm just going to put this in and show you what I'm looking at. So I'm looking at my profile here, right? On link on Facebook, and so this is basically me. Um, I want to show you this post. Um, Okay, so this post right here, this is your comfort zone where you feel safe and in control, where you are very safe, very in control, you really love this space, right? But then you need to get out of that. You need to get into the learning zone and the growth zone. So some of you are in a learning zone right now because you got this course, you are in this learning zone. You're trying to deal with challenges and problems. You know that's a problem. You know you need help. You're learning to fix the problem to find solutions, right? You want to acquire new skills. That's why you're, you're on this uh, website and, and doing this course, right? And doing other courses, I'm sure. I'm sure. So you're learning and you're trying to extend your comfort zone. But first of all, you get you get you got to get past that. You got to get past your lack of self confidence, your imposter syndrome. You got and you got to stop finding. You got to stop stop finding excuses. And being affected by other people's opinions you need to get out of that because it's, it's causing you to stick stay in your comfort zone but you need to get out of it you need to get into the learning zone and then the growth zone the growth zone is where you start living your dreams start finding a purpose and you know uh, being purpose driven and, and uh, being purposeful having new goals right setting new goals every year we set new goals but then we kind of fall back into the comfort zone because we are lazy and we are not very smart sometimes uh, conquer objectives if you're in the growth zone, you want to conquer your objectives. You have goals, and you could conquer them, right? So, um, yeah. So let's go back to this. So basically, we are looking at the quotes, right? So next quote is, my mentor said, let's do this, not you go do this. So how powerful is it when someone says let's? And then we all know who Jim is and his quotes are wonderful. Whoopi Goldberg, we also know if you're older, you know who she is. Um, and she says, we're here for a reason. We believe a bit of the reason is to throw back little torches out to lead people through the dark. So, you know, instead of leaving breadcrumbs that birds can eat up, we leave torches that burn a trail and um, guide people 
so that they you know that's also a saying where you know um, if you have worked your way up to the top floor you press the button the ground floor button so that it goes down and picks someone else up right so don't just be selfish don't just live in a penthouse but you know send the elevator back down so that you can pick someone else up and maybe they can you know slowly go up to your level uh, bit by bit obviously if you can mentor them it would be best but if not just at least send the elevator back down to them so next Diana Ross wonderful wonderful singer um, beautiful woman um, she said you know you do need mentors but in the end you really just need to believe in yourself um, you actually need both and I kind of alluded to that already right you need to believe in yourself fight the lack of self-confidence but you also need mentors to teach you because you're in the learning zone you're learning you just you don't learn from yourself you believe in yourself but you learn from other people and you grow you grow with other people right so that's my main thing um, so next is Benjamin Franklin some of you who have the US currency you know his face is on it right and that's the reason why so it's like he tell me and I'll forget teach me and I may remember involve me and I will learn so involving you is part of the mentorship process so if you are a mentor you involve other people if you are mentoring or being mentored then you are you should be in being involved uh, and and the person mentoring you should involve you in the learning process again comfort zone fear zone learning zone growth zone right mentoring next John Crosby mentoring is a brain to pick and year to to listen and a push in the right direction very very true and Margaret Mead said children must be taught how to think not what to think very true I agree yeah you know, teach a f person to fish um, is greater than teaching or just giving them fish right you can give them fish for their whole life but you should teach them to fish so making mistakes has been my greatest mentor so this person probably did not have other mentors just like I did so we make a lot of mistakes we, and we learn from other people's mistakes right um, so yeah thanks Steve so I'd love to hear your comments put it down in the below here again uh, like you know thank you but not just thank you like I want to hear your comments on what mentoring is to you so maybe one of these quotes spoke to you right maybe this question you have a mentor so really uh, you want to answer that question or maybe you you just like want to thank me for something either way um, whatever it is put your comments down if you hear from you and I hope that one day you become a mentor as well like I said you don't need to be a mentor to be one you don't need to have a mentor to become one but hopefully along the way you become a mentor all right 